on as friends in this business. We are business, I, I like to say it this way, we are business associates. And things do get, things get out of hand just because there, there's tempers that flare, there is, uh, there's things that happen on, on, a, on a social basis where uh, fellas might have a problem with another fella. I mean, I've seen backstage problems over, uh, over a girl, over a, a, a Sunday dinner that didn't happen, or over somebody who came to Sunday dinner who didn't bring their own uh, bottle or whatever, you know, one of those Hogan things like, hey brother, I mean brother, I can't take this anymore. There's all this negative vibes around me. But tempers flare, uh, guys go out in the heat of the moment, somebody gets hit too hard, or somebody gets kicked too hard, and the next thing you know, uh, there's a problem, and problems are happening all the time. I saw Bret Hart, and I'll tell a Bret Hart story real fast. I saw Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels down on the floor in Hartford, Connecticut. They cannot deny this happened because it did happen. They were in the locker room down on the floor pulling at each other's hair and they had to be separated and it had nothing to do with professional wrestling. It had to do with a personal vendetta they had against each other. These were two guys who just could not coexist anymore in the same locker room. And, and it, it did finally culminated to, of course, the Montreal screw job, which, I mean, come on, give me a break. I can't lose the belt in Canada. Okay, well, we'll go across the border from uh, Windsor, from uh, Toronto, we'll do it in uh, Detroit. Well, I can't lose, it's too close to Canada. Oh, come on, give me a break. But things like that do happen.